all right in this video we're gonna go ahead and start putting on the, the front lift uh, these six inch springs uh, it's gonna be sitting on top of a five inch reverse shackle for the front so last time I had a pretty hard time putting the springs on on the you know the regular spring the factory springs on the five inch uh, shackle reverser because I had a slight bend in the front frame on my corner and that gave me a pretty hard time uh, hopefully this one this install doesn't give me that much of a hard time but we're gonna start with taking the shocks off <clears throat> we're actually detaching the shocks from the top mounting plate of the the front leaf spring so here it goes what I did first is uh, you see the sway bar hanging. Uh, you got to de uh, I'm detaching the sway bar first so that I can start lifting up the truck and just start pulling the axle to the side. Uh, you got to remember after you do, after I do this lift, I'm gonna have to readjust the steering because it's gonna be off on this side. You can see where I already took off the. And here goes my the five inch drop down bracket that I got oh yeah because of the because of, like I said earlier the frame was uh, slightly bent in the front corner there was a bar that goes from here all the way to the other side well I had to cut that off because it was I had to bend the frame and it, it was just real difficult and so I might have to get it welded back on so here here's the the top mount Here's the top mount with the square U-bolts that were on. So that's the bottom mount to it. And here's here's a comparison of the the leaf springs. Here's the old leaf spring right here on the bottom. And here's my new six inch. Stupid me forgot to get some uh uh bushings so i'm gonna go ahead and head to the local advanced auto parts and go over there right now and buy those bushings while i'm at it because these u-bolts are gonna be too short I, I i i really i could use these i could use them but i really don't want to um they're old and well um, this truck is 24 years old so they're they're pretty old We'll go ahead and buy some new ones. Probably gonna go. Um, these are, I think these are like three and one eighth or some crazy number like that. But I'm gonna see about going. If I if I could buy uh, three quarter ones, then I'm gonna buy three quarter ones. If not, then I might have to go for the same size as the stock, but just longer. Uh, and we'll continue from there. So here we are a couple hours later. Um, I did go to the local advance, two different advance. I went to O'Reilly's, I went to AutoZone, looking for the bushings, couldn't find the bushings. It's a Sunday, so I couldn't go really, so I really couldn't go to these other off-road uh, aftermarket part places. Uh, so tomorrow I'm just gonna go ahead and head on over to Four Wheel Parts as soon as I wake up, get ready. And hopefully I'll be there uh, as soon as the store opens. So that we go ahead and finish up this video, but nobody had the bushings, and this is an aftermarket part. So you know, when you look at it, the bushing is going to be a little bit smaller than the original factory. That's why uh, none of these other part places had it. So hopefully, whenever I go to Four Wheel Parts tomorrow, they'll have this part for me, and we'll continue the video and close it out, and so I can go ahead and just post it up, and well, we'll figure it out. As soon as I hit the store tomorrow. Alright. So. Might be backwards. Um, three days later, here we are. On a Wednesday, we have these bushings finally. I went to Fort Wood Drive Parts on Monday and they didn't have any. So they had to order it directly from Skyjacker and have it shipped to my house. And I met the UPS at my garage door. That was I was opening. Because believe me, I was like a junkie at the window with the blinds folded down keep on looking for the ups man and yeah yeah i get like that with this truck with this build um 
Well, here we are. We're going to continue with this front leaf spring swap. And when you order them, they're going to come with their, their six right here and three of the metal parts for the bushings. Uh, because I already sent one in. And the only thing you're going to do is get one side. Is it with a grease? Grease, grease them if you're going to do this. And set them in. Set them in both sides. And then... Not necessarily going to do this one handed, but there you go. Get a little rubber hammer and tap that in, and you'll be good. So, I'm doing this job by myself. <clears throat> so, there's a bunch of different things that I'm having to do differently than uh, two people coming in here and doing it. So, I put my drop bracket on and I put my sway bar, I attach my sway bar link to it. Because what this is going to want to do, that front axle is going to want to rotate. You see, uh, you can't really tell from this angle, but it does want to rotate already. So, so that's that. <clears throat> um, I undid both sides. I took this bolt out almost all the way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the truck leaf springs away from the axles by lifting the front so we're going from there so here it is lifted without the springs uh, take the springs out the axle kind of shifted a little bit but that's fine we'll straighten everything up in a second there's a drop bracket right here from PMF suspensions alright so if it's not one issue after another that I'm dealing with this truck a uh, bunch of different things that uh, um, a bunch of things that I'm ordering that are specifically for this truck that it's not that they don't fit is that uh, there has to be adjustments anytime you're ordering aftermarket parts of course they're not gonna just fit exactly though you know just straight uh, from takeoff to put on it's gonna go perfect uh, you are gonna have to either modify stuff or just uh, use a crowbar or something like that to get everything straightened out but uh, this is the this is the set right height for the truck let me get back a little bit so this is the set right height for the truck and uh, it's pretty tall um, but uh, I'll show you the issue that I'm talking about right now Okay, so here it is. Um, I have the the leaves set in the. I had the pin set in the holes and the center holes that are on the axle, and uh, I have the springs just kind of loosely set in. Um, but I need to tighten everything up as soon as well. As soon as I get the top plates right here, the mounting plates for the for the square U bolts. Well, the mounting plate hole isn't as big as this so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take the top mounting plates and I don't have a drill big enough or a drill piece big enough so this is about three quarters and I'm gonna have to cut that uh, the, the hole for the top mounting plate for the U-bolts I'm gonna have to cut the little hole in there about either I don't know maybe three quarters maybe a hair over three quarters and Maybe I'll just continue this tomorrow because I can't go forward with this project right now because of that. So I'm kind of at a standstill. Uh, it wasn't such an issue getting these on. It wasn't that bad. Not like it was whenever I was putting these drop brackets in. It was That gave me, man, crazy kind of crap. Uh, well, the only, the only other thing that I'm dealing with is uh, my steering. So if you sit back right here and look at the steering... My steering is off. It's cocked to one side. So what I'm gonna have to do is, instead of, I mean, what I could do is I could take the pitman arm because I did replace the pitman arm. And as you can see, uh, there's a drop pitman arm right here. And sorry, I got the sniffles, whatever. But so the drop pitman arm, I could either take that off and adjust everything, or I could just, I could just take off the steering wheel and adjust it from there. So tonight, uh, I leave for work tonight, and I'm going to go ahead and take them somewhere to go get them 
uh, drilled, the holes drilled bigger so the pins could, the pins from the leaf ring could sit in. And I guess tomorrow, sorry for the wind. Um, it is kind of windy right here. Well, tomorrow I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the local advanced auto parts and get the, the steering wheel puller, pull the steering wheel and just align the steering wheel up like that because uh, I really don't want to mess with the, the alignment right now on this truck, even though I know it's gonna need an alignment because of the fact that I lifted it up six more inches. So, you know what, that's gonna make another video. It's it's a it's an at-home alignment, and I've gotten it extremely, extremely down to the point. Uh, if not, maybe like 1 16th off from perfect alignment. And 1 16th, that's, that's really, at the shops, they'll call that um, a good alignment. So, we're just gonna go ahead and continue this video tomorrow, Thursday. I'll see you, I'll see y'all tomorrow. So here it is Thursday, uh, we're finally gonna go ahead and complete this uh, front end lift. Um, unfortunately, my shocks aren't gonna be here until May, that's what I'm saying, but I'm going back and forth with the people from Four Wheel Parts. Uh, I guess it's special, I don't know. But it's supposed to be sent from the manufacturer and it's back ordered all the way until May. And that sucks. So right now, um, as you see right here, as you see right here, uh, we made, I made these brackets. I welded it on. My welded, my welds look like crap. So I got some buddies from work to, uh, to pretty her up a little bit. But basically, this is a top mounting bracket. This is a top mounting bracket for the leaf spring and I just added this square tubing on top So you see where the shock first went in now the shocks going in on right here on the top the top end And I did that so I'll be able to run the shocks that I have on right now um, Because nothing for this size lift is going to be cheap as far as shocks go to match up so I'll just wait two months. I'll just Drive around with that for two months. Look stupid. Well, nobody's gonna see it. It's beneath the wheel anyway. And well, we're just gonna put these on, and that should be it for the for the front, lifting up the front. 